When I look back at the distance I have run from the cradle to the present day, I tremble and greet my fortune more with terror than polite attention. I marvel at the struggle I have managed to endure against such drastic luck, if it even can be called luck, this persistent of unhappiness of one so poorly born. This excerpt from Juan Francisco Manzano's poem, My Thirty Years, is a beautiful piece of poetry that demonstrates the struggles that the author endured as a slave in Cuba, and the hope that led him through such terrible experiences. Such great works of poetry often cause us as readers to desire to know what the author must have experienced in their life to write such compelling words. The Pure Belpre Medal winner, The Poet's Slave, a biography of Juan Francisco Manzano, written in 2006 by Margarita Engel, is one such book that details what the author of this poem experienced as a slave in Cuba and gives the reader a clear picture of why he wrote this poem. The story begins with Juan and his parents serving as slaves for a woman named Dona Beatriz, who made Juan call him his mama. She eventually frees Juan parent, Juan's parents and promises to grant Juan his freedom when she dies. But when she does die, Juan is not freed, but instead becomes a slave to La Marquesa. La Marquesa is very cruel to Juan, especially when he tries to learn to read and write poetry. And whenever she ca catches him trying to do either, he is severely punished in ways you can't even imagine. Most of the story deals with the way Juan is treated by La, by La Marquesa and the ways in which he and his parents continue to fight and struggle to gain his freedom, which was promised by Dona Beatrice. The book is beautifully told to the, due to the fact that it is written in verse, which works perfectly for the book because it is the story of a poet. Also, the book is told from the perspectives of Juan and seven other people who, um, are in, uh, who have a major role in slavery at the time. Some of the people include his parents, who were slaves, and both of his masters. This aspect of the book helps give the reader valuable insights into the varying perspectives of all the people involved in the slavery situation. I felt the, bo the book was both thought-provoking and provided insight into the topic of slavery and race relations at the time that Juan was a slave. Overall, I highly recommend this both intriguing and eye-opening tale which teaches the reader to cherish their freedom and teaches us about a man who despite his terrible experiences was still able to write poetry that demonstrated hope in a world of cruelty. So if you're wondering how Juan gains his freedom and you want to learn more about his experiences as a slave, read The Poet Slave of Cuba, a biography of Juan Francisco Manzano.